Hello, this is Bern, and if you want to find out the truth of why men cheat, and most important of all, what you can do to prevent this from happening to you, you need to watch my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something that's actually painful for most human beings, which is why do men cheat? And more importantly, how to prevent your relationship from suffering through this. And what I have to tell you right now is that there's a big misconception going around, which is that men cheat because they want to have sex, because they have so much sexual energy that they just have to release it somehow that's not in their relationship. Now, it is true that men have, on average, 10 times the number of sexual hormones than you have, but that's not the main reason why men cheat. Men cheat primarily, and if you look at any research that talks about infidelity or any research that talks about why people don't stay together for that long or lose that magic is, Men cheat to feel alive, to end the feeling of monotony, to end the feeling of I'm not enough uh, and I want to feel vibrant again. So there's a couple of reasons why this happens. One is his own personal life not creating enough aliveness and passion. And the other one is the relationship he's in is not passionate, is not surprising enough, is not playful enough. So he feels the need to actually break outside the mold and feel alive and connected again. And that's the number one reason why men cheat. It has nothing to do with sex. It has to do with emotional intensity. Second reason why men cheat is to validate themselves and feel worthy and seen. Men are incredibly needy of feeling validated. And I'll give you an example. I mean, you'll see an amazingly beautiful woman, accomplished PhD, makes great money, uh, dresses really well, has a sexy body, and her husband ends up cheating with a maid or with a babysitter. Why does this happen so often? This happens because that babysitter or that maid helps that man feel like a man again, fails that, helps that man feel worthy, helps that man feel valued, feel admired, and that's something that he's not getting at home. Now, am I saying that she's the cause of him cheating? I'm not saying that. He is fully responsible for this, but there's conditions inside the relationship that facilitate him going out and getting that sense of validation, that sense of admiration, that sense of feeling special to someone, that sense of feeling like a man. If he's not feeling it with you, he is going to go outside to find it. So you might as well start figuring out the way to create this within the relationship. And I'll talk about the ways to prevent it in a second. But the third reason why men cheat is to feel the void. Feel the void is simply an escape. An escape from feeling like I'm not enough, an escape from feeling like I can't make what I want to have happen happen, I can't make enough money, I can't create the life of my dreams, I don't even know what it is that I came here to do, so I just want to escape and I want to feel intensity and I want to feel alive again. It's similar to the first one of feeling alive, but it's more when he starts feeling the pain and he doesn't have a way, a successful or fulfilling way to end that pain, that's an immediate, it's like a drug, it's basically an addiction, it's a drug, it's a way for feeling his need of, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, and feeling that void. So that's, those are the top three reasons why men cheat. Now, uh, pay attention to this, because like, there's a lot of other reasons why men cheat, including when the guy's an idiot, or the guy simply wants to have fun and is not commitment-minded. I'm taking into account then that this is a worthy guy, and those are the three reasons why a worthy guy will cheat. Now, I wanna to talk to you right now about prevention, like how do you prevent this from happening? There's no surefire way to say, you know what, this is it, this is the key, the cure for that, otherwise the one who came up with that would become a trillionaire, right? <laughs> Not a billionaire, a trillionaire. But I can tell you that there's at least four things that you can do that can significantly minimize the chance of your guy cheating on you. The first one, pretty obvious, I mentioned in every single one of my videos, but I wanna mention it again right now, which is own your fire. Owning your fire means that you recognize that the passion that you feel in your life, the passion that you feel in your body, the passion that you feel in your sense of self and your worthiness is gonna be brought into the relationship. So if you're, if you're right now not bringing it in life, if you're not bringing it in your sense of how worthy you are, if you're not bringing it in the connection of the things that are amazing to you, you're sure as hell are not gonna bring it to your relationship. So you're not owning your fire. So that's the first one. Start owning your fire more, start connecting to your passion, start expressing your passions, start being that woman that's irresistible by just simply the way she walks and the way she is, not because she's doing something special, but because she's connected to things that make her feel alive. Second one, super important. If you connect, if you're with a guy that you admire, admire him for real. Let him know in those few words, I admire you for this. Look, at, look up to the guy that you're with, just like he can look up to you for doing amazing things and being an amazing woman. Give each other that reciprocity of admiration because admiration is one of those things that 
make the guy feel worthy, make the guy feel like a man, make the guy feel like he wants to basically keep up with the vision that you have for himself. If you constantly look down at the guy, then it's almost like the ident identity you have for him is one of he's a loser. And if he's a loser, he's going to act like a loser, right? But if you admire your guy and you let him know in those vulnerable words, I admire you because of this, he's going to feel a lot more commitment to actually stand up and play true to the guy that you believe him to be. Uh, the third uh, way to <laughs> cheat proof your relationship is to know your man's heart. This is crucial. When you know your man's heart, when you know exactly who he is, not here, but you really get a chance to connect with him and you get a chance to feel who he is inside. You get a chance to know what he's going through, whether he tells you or not, because you're so connected to the universe, to life, to yourself, then you get a chance to really understand where he's coming from. When the man feels seen and heard and admired and he knows the fire you have in you, he's going to think 10 times before cheating because he would be losing something amazing, which is this being seen like nobody else has seen him. So be able to connect to your own heart and see your man's heart. The last one, fourth ways, again, seems obvious, but it's not that obvious <laughs> because it happens more often than not that women don't follow their intuition. So follow your intuition. What does that mean? Every single woman, not minus one, every single woman I've connected with, and I've connected with thousands of women, who, and some of them have experienced this being cheated on, have felt there's something weird and they haven't paid attention to their intuition. So paying attention to your intuition is incredibly life-saving and it's gonna get, get you to take action in times where you probably would have just dismissed something as weird, but you feel like something's wrong. So these are the four ways, owning your fire, admiring your guy, knowing your man's heart and follow your intuition. Now, if you think this is powerful, helpful in any way, I want you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, you're gonna find that on the button here, on this part of the video, you're gonna see a link that appears like a little button and you can click on that and subscribe to a webinar that's free and it's live and it's going to teach you a blueprint to connect to the man of your dreams to find your soulmate in 90 days or less and uh, that's pretty much what i have for you today i thank you so much for connecting with me and as always i challenge you to live a full and conscious life